Hello. I'm fitting my boots. I wanted to make another video. Just because I'm doing boots again. You guys seem to like my boot videos. Or, uh, out of the two I've made, anyway. Got some pretty good results. But I'm doing a... Something I don't think anybody's done before. I've already done one. I've done this before. It seems to work out pretty well. Uh, these are a little too big, so I want to get them to fit. This is my solution. Um, I'm not, I, I guess I'll just explain it as I go, or I'll just do it. Instead of explaining it and then showing you. I'm already in the middle of it. I've got my goop here drying out because I get the lid off. This is what you want to get if you decide to do this. Chew goo. You can get it from Walmart, get it online, wherever. It's like five bucks. Mine's leaking right now, so this is kind of stupid. Um, what I'm trying this time, I've done it a few different ways. Uh, these are about... Oh, fuck, I think these are almost two sizes too big. Maybe a size and a half. Uh, but I've shrunk them. I tried. If you haven't seen my other videos, there's this water trick that I use um, that I've talked about that helped a little bit, but they're still sliding or slipping a little too much. So I'm going to try this and see how it works. I'm just going to show you guys. I'll update you if it does work, but while I'm doing this, I wanted to go ahead and film it just to, um, you know, while I'm here, I might as well. So all I did is get this, if you've got an extra belt, yeah, go, to the, go to the thrift store or get somebody's old belt, you got a belt that's too big and you can take some off, I don't know, just good quality leather belt. You don't want some cheap shit that's going to fall apart. Um, this one I got for a couple bucks. Steers and armadillos. It's kind of cool, I guess. I wasn't going to wear it, so I... Uh, decided to tear it up. All I did this time was measure it from the piping, I think that's what you call it, side to side, and it chose this one because it's pretty thick. That's, I would say, the main thing you want to look at, the thickness of it. If they're just a tiny bit too small and you decide to do this, I don't know, there are other ways, like the water thing, that's probably what you want to do to get them to fit. But if they're really big, get a thick piece of leather. I'll just show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to use the smooth side for the adhesive, because uh, I think it'll stick better. I thought about roughing it up with some sandpaper, and that's probably not a bad idea, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I want to see... Uh, if the size is any good first. See if this is actually going to work. I'm not wasting too much time on it. I just want to get this done. I want these to fit. And, uh, damn it, I've got more coming out here than the top. Fucking double edged sword here. Simple enough. I don't have to get it all f fucking smeared out perfectly. Just get a few dabs on there. Because it's gonna get pressed on and it'll spread enough by itself. I think it'll be alright. Enough. I guess this is trash now. Maybe I get another pair I can do this with. So it's gonna dry up. Just bend it a little bit so I can get it in there. So I don't rub the shit all over the sides. You're gonna get a little bit in there. They're tall boots. It's hard to do. Hard to do. No, you're not going to be able to see this. One thing you are going to need is a flashlight. 
Maybe you can see this now. All you gotta do is get that lined up with the piping. Get pressed in there hard. Make sure it's lined up. Get all those air bubbles pressed out. Make sure it's nice and flat because you don't want to do all this, wait a few hours for it to dry all up. And then you try to put them on and the thing rips off. It's a pain in the ass. One good thing about this shoe goo, it dries right up when you just peel it off. It's like a sunburn. Alright, now, easiest way I've found to do this, you know, you gotta let it sit for a while, obviously. I grabbed a dirty work shirt. Make sure it's in there. Stick a little bit in there first, make sure you're not pulling it off. it's right where it needs to be. As you can see, this is mostly done by feel. <laughs> but, simple enough still. Just shove it in there. Make sure it's pressed against every little part of a piece of leather. Make sure it's still on the sides. Make sure there aren't any gaps. And then shove it down. Make sure you get some pressure against it. There you go. Um, usually just let it sit overnight just in case. Uh, make sure it's got enough time to adhere. That's about it. Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.